What inspired me to write the children's book was the mindful movement that I spoke about the night I won with South Africa. I've got Mindful Mondays, which targets young adults and adults, but I felt like there was a need for um, education, mental health education from the ground up and targeting children, especially in their schooling environment from parents reading it or even teachers reading it or even kids reading it themselves because it's for everyone. So it was quite important for me to integrate mental health education for children with this book. Not long ago, there was a little girl who lived in a village with her mother in a small village named Habangani. Shudi was a happy child and she sang and danced wherever she went. From the process of putting this book together, I learned about the power of healing. Sometimes we never tell our stories, but you, you never know how your story can impact the next person and how it can be helpful. For me, I managed to take a story that was a big part of my life, a sad part of my life, but also turn into mental health education to help the next person that is also struggling with bullying and anything mental health related. I'm an advocate for reading from a young age because when I moved to Mpumalanga from Venda, I could barely speak a word of English, but it was through my love for books and through reading that my mind got expanded enough for me to actually learn about different things and also just escape. You know, when you're being bullied, I spent a lot of time in the library and I could make up any stories that I wanted to escape to any world that I wanted to. And all I needed was my mind. And I believe that reading cultivates that. Reading cultivates imagination, especially for children and even older people as well. Spending the day with the kids and reading to them has been absolutely everything. Um, I think looking at them, I remember myself in, in their shoes and how much I loved hearing stories, being told stories. And being around them has been such a humbling experience because I just love them so much and it was such a beautiful experience. I think the message that I would encourage people to read with their kids this month, it is such a necessary tool for development for your children. It's not even just for fun, but then the, 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 you cultivate their imagination. You teach them about a, a different world that they can create with their own minds and, and you get to show them what is possible. I mean, through Shudu Finds Her Magic, you hear a story about a village girl who grew up uh, on gravel road, who was playing with cows, who was playing with goats, uh, who hardly ever saw any cars passing by, who went to, on to being bullied. But on the other side of that, there's a power of friendship, there's a power of love, there's a power of hope that shows that anything can be possible. My grandmother told me that I, I can be anything that I want to be. And then a few years later, after being bullied, I met my best friend who told me that I can be anything that I want to be. So I believe that I'm in South Africa because of the messaging like that. But it's through books like this that they realize that anything is possible. I was actually telling the teacher right now that had we had more people come to read to us when, when we were growing up, um, we like it would have it would it would have helped so much with our development. So I think the way they're doing it now, how they reach to their students, how they emphasize the importance of reading, is so so important because it shows how big the world is and how big their minds are. My book is available uh, at all stores nationwide, exclusive book CNA, and a, and, 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 and a range of other stores. Uh, please visit the, the Miss South Africa website, www.missa.co.za for more information where you can order the book there. Um, but if you wanna go in stores, I do know that um, uh, all the major retailers right now have the book, CNA, uh, exclusive books, and it's only 95 Rand. And for each book that is sold, one is donated to charity, Childline SA, and the South African Depression and Anxiety Group who are doing a lot of work for our kids. Mac Cafe. Great coffee. Simple.